Hello, afternoon, um, how's it going out there? I just thought I'd do a little impromptu stream, I haven't put this out that I'm doing this at all. Um, ah, just, I'm just working on some stuff at the moment, so I thought I'd start streaming it just to show you what I'm working on and a bit of the process involved. Um, so yeah, how's it going? Hope you're okay. Welcome to Dark Shed Live, uh, I think it's episode 3 of series 2 now. Hey, hey, hey. Right, uh, so what am I working on at the moment? <laughs> this rather scary self-portrait I took um, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. So I did this straight print of it. Um, and um, as you may have seen, I was experimenting with doing... Um, got my head straight in a minute. I was painting on Developer last week uh, by mixing it with uh, Xanthan Gun. Um, so... I did that process, I painted on uh, just to create, I just didn't want it to look so flat, I wanted something that kind of showed what I was doing at the moment with my processes which was an experimentation and messing around with what should and shouldn't be done. Um, and then I thought about uh, applying Fixer before the developer stage. Um, as a way of kind of blocking areas out and uh, it turned out way better than I thought it was going to. Some of it, um, where have I got them? I haven't got them handy. I'll, show, I'll put them on my social media. Um, and this was the first one that I did and I was really surprised with how, um, so as you can see like the, the eyes were the areas where I put the fixer to start with. Um, uh, the I was surprised that the exposed areas actually came through um, at all and through further experimentation I think that's down to the thickness of the developer that you put on. I'm mixing it with the xanthan gum again uh, just so I can actually paint it on as opposed to it just being a slosh a fixer. Um, but I think it's down to how thick that is when you apply it, the, the, the implement that you use to do it with. Um, I've done some experiments with other brushes where when you stroke it on, it just, it, it's like a big blot of tip X over the whole thing. Um, and also potentially how long you leave it for before putting the de developer on, or when, in my case, I'm washing it off so I don't contaminate the developer when I go to that stage. So um, what was the next one? This is the, this is the one I really liked. Um, so I'm just gonna get, walk you through the steps of how I'm gonna do a, a few more of them because I just kind of wanna perfect uh, one of these. So I'm just going to walk you through the steps of, of what I'm doing with this. Um, let's just bring up the enlarger uh, and go go dark. Let's put a little screen over. Okay. So I've got uh, my image, exposing right into there, I've got the times calculated uh, based on that straight print that I did. Uh, so first of all, put the paper in. got my pre-mixed um, fixer with xanthan gum. It's uh, 1 plus 9 uh, Elford Rapid Fix. I haven't diluted it down anymore, just mixed in a nice thick consistency. And what I've been doing is, as I expose like this, I just paint it on. Bring a second dunk like that. There we go. Let that finish exposing. And then I'm going to give that a quick just swap over to the uh, tray cam. So yeah, I'm just going to give this a quick 
wash off, which is over at the sink, just to make sure. Um, I don't know how necessary this phase is, but just it, it stops the fixer going into the developer that I've got mixed up um, off the brush. And also, it, I guess it gives a definite point when the fixer stops working. So, well, it's been on there. 30 seconds um, so yeah nice wash to get that off right so if I bring this over here oh that's gonna <laughs> my screen just fell down off my my filter fell down off my, uh, my computer which has probably exposed it to light well it definitely has exposed it to light well, well uh, I'll carry on <laughs> uh, just to show you the, the phases. I have got one that I've made earlier that I can show you. So the next thing I do is I wipe off the uh, water. Let's just save off like that. Hopefully so the developer applies quite evenly. Um, I'm actually going to use a different brush now. And have been just to try that out. So here we go. I've got my pre-mixed um, developer. Uh, this is actually that warm tone developer I was using last week. <coughs> Mixed with the xanthan gum, so it's nice and thick. And I'm just going to start painting it on. Hopefully, we'll start to see the uh, damage to come through, coming through. Doesn't look like that blast of light from the computer has ruined it too much. Okay. Now, next thing I do is I put it in water bath and I suppose you could put it into a running tap at this point. Um, but I'm just using the same brush just to brush it all off because it's quite sticky stuff and hopefully this will keep it out of the fixer. I don't want any gunk floating around in that, I'm just going to have to keep mixing a fresh batch. Okay, a good wash. And then enter the fix. Right. Uh, what I'll 
just go and do is grab from what I did a few minutes ago. So you can compare them. Turn all the lights on now. Oh, brush rate's pretty strong on that. Might have to increase the strength of the developer. I think. So. So this is the first one I tried this morning um, using uh, more of a paint, uh, wall paint brush. As you can see, it's gone on quite thickly. Um, and this is the smaller, I think it's like a watercolour brush that I did. And then here's the latest one where I use the watercolour brush for the eyes and then the thicker brush for, for all over. So there's that technique. It's quite simple to do really. Um, and creates something fairly unique. And that is all I've got for you today. Nice, simple. Um, actually, I'll show you This is the first one I did <laughs> with the fixer, just to see <laughs> if any of it went through. And because I'd put it on so thick, and I think I left it on there for a good minute before washing it off, it's just completely blocked it out. So yeah, there we go. Uh, if you've got any questions or um, you haven't tried anything like this, got any thoughts, any ideas on how to experiment further with this, get in touch. See you soon. Thanks for watching.